Hey, hey, what's up, farm and friends? It's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, back with another edition of Farm and Simulator 2017. And we're back on Pine Cove Farm today, where we are going to do a little bale stacking. Oh, get some popcorn. It's always, always entertaining when I bale stack, because there is a good chance I'll lose my freaking mind. But uh, anyways, we are um, on Pine Cove Farm in our last episode. If you didn't see it, uh, we did um, we did do a bunch of grass baling. Uh, we mowed some grass. We used the coon merger. We bailed some bales. We left them in the field. Now we got to go collect them up. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I know bale stacking happens to be a lot of y'all's favorite activity. It is mine. I don't know why. I guess maybe it's because you have to be a little bit more meticulous and uh, it's uh, a bit more challenging. But uh, if you do enjoy today's video, as always, smack that like button for me. Share it with your friends. Maybe leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I say that every week, uh, every day. It's a contractual obligation I have. But um, anyway, so we're going to be using the Vultra today. I've got the uh, CoastNet or CauseNet uh, weight on the back. That is available, I do believe, on the Mod Hub if you want it. And then for the, the Tines, we're going to be, or the Bell Spike, we're going to be using the CSZ Mod, uh, which is part of the Z CSZ Equipment Pack. Um, there is a lot in here. If you've never used it before, it's an awesome little pack. I used it a lot in 15. It's got an adapter, round bell spike. Uh, then you've got your square bells. You've got your bell extension. You've got a double round bell stacker. You've got the uh, wrapped bell handler. Then you've got some pallet forks, which are much better than the ones in game. Uh, then you've got a pallet fork for doing um, with a grapple on the top. That's great for doing the wool. A uh, couple of log grapples, manure, multipurpose, all kinds of buckets here. It's really nice. Even a silage bucket with a beater bar on the front of it. Um, so anyways, the really nice equipment that you can use. Some of it you might have some issues with, especially the lifting hook. I know a lot of people have had problems with that one before. But uh, most of the bale spikes and everything work really well. And uh, you shouldn't have too many issues with those. Uh, somebody had said that they had an issue with it and I should test it out. I've, I've played with these mods so many times. It's not even funny. Uh, added bonus to this, it's a multi-purpose pack. It works on the front loader, telehandler, wheel loader. It has its own adapter, plus it has the skid steer uh, as well. So uh, you can use it on just about anything, which is really nice. And then one more bonus is it's got lots of scripting on it, uh, which I like. Uh, it gives you the ability to customize how you want to use it. Uh, for example, if we walk up here and we turn on F1, and we walk up to these guys. The first thing you'll see is uh, V, raise pylons. If we pull that up, we can take it from a two-bale uh, two bale stack to a three-bale stack if we want it, which is, is always nice. Uh, then you also see open safety pins. If we look down here at the bottom where the tine meets up with the, um, with the, with the frame here, if we hit O, the little latch pins are going to pull out. We hit them again, and it's going to pull these bars out. And then using um, uh, O, we'll loosen up the bell tines. And then we can reposition them. We can use one to take it all the way to the inside, two to go to the center position, three to go to the widest position. So however you want to do it, you can do. Uh, it's up to you. I'm going to use the center position. Once I get that, I can go ahead and see. It'll put it back in. C again, we'll push the bar in. And then finally, C will close the pins in and everything is good to go. So uh, now we're all set up for hauling our square bales. Our uh, system is, is the way I want it. So we'll climb up into the tractor and we will get going with this. Now, there's also a nice little function on this. The, the, the forks have their own camera axis. So as I'm spinning around, you'll see that the center of the axis right now is the bell tines or the bell forks. So if I hit my camera button now, the center of the axis is the tractor. So as I spin around, I'm focused on the tractor, which means if I zoom in, I zoom in to the, to the tractor itself. If I go back to the exterior camera that is for the, for the bell tines, You'll see that the axis is actually 
the uh, the bell spikes themselves. So that's kind of nice if you're if you're having a problem aligning things and you're going for really meticulous stuff, you can you can zoom right in on it. I believe I showed all this uh, in 15, but for those of you who are new in 17, uh, that'll give you a little bit more. There's also a transport mode if you hit X. It will raise up the tines so you can drive around and not, you know, spike anybody while you're while you're transporting. Anyways, with all that covered, let's get into the field and get some get some bales and we'll talk a little bit about the auto load feature in it. Now, me, I like to manually stack. I don't love the auto bale stuff. I like to manually make a stack and then uh, transport that but sometimes the bales the physics in them they like to wiggle around do a little wiggle jiggle do a little dance you know what I'm talking about and um, the auto stack on this actually has a locking script in it so um, it does kind of help you out a little bit um, in the sense that you can use it as a locking script and um, and use that as a way to um, control your bales a little bit. So uh, I do like to use it in that aspect, uh, but from just as far as a sheer loading bales aspect, I, I like to load my bales manually. Give that bell a tap so I can broach it. Lots of shadows right here. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. I think I'm a little bit short. So here's where that, oh, I'm I'm really messed up. I, oh, no, 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 you don't. Yeah, these sh the shadows on this tree make it almost impossible for me to see what I'm doing. So let's come back in here and we'll ram that. That one doesn't want to turn for some reason, why? All right, let's get out of the shadows. I'm out of the dock. Hit that and then get it squared up. Back up off of it a little bit. Come forward. There we go. Uh, let's see if I can do this now that I can actually see where the light is. Yeah, I'm still a little far out. Oh, I'm way far out. There we go. be right right there is that right haha it is how about that all right back it oh oh stay on there oh, oh I didn't pull all the way out there we go all right so let's tilt that up I'll go for three I think we shall. Let's go get three. Though I tend to like stack, and honestly, in this game, I really, I tend to like to stack two bells at a time. I think I usually have a little bit more control over them, and I could take my bell stack six high, which I can go either way. I can do two stacks of three, or three, or three stacks of two. Um, it tends to work either way for me. Look pretty straight on this one. All right, set that down in place. Up just a little bit to where I see that edge. So much different than in real life because in real life, you have the benefit of being able to, you know, your field of distance. And you can judge a lot better where you're at with it. You just can't do that in this game. I can't anyways. Maybe my graphics aren't good enough. I don't know. All right. So bring that down. And usually what I use typically do is I bring it down to where that front actuator right there is right underneath the, the grill. And then I can just pull up. Drive into them. 
rotate and pick up and I got room now as I was saying this thing has a little bit of a you know the bales will wobble wobble on you and uh, moving them can be a challenge sometimes they'll just fly off and that's where the locking script in this can come in handy or the auto load in it uh, it does have the auto load as I said if you look up there it'll say V enable automatic loading if I hit that all of the bales are gonna snap in and they're locked on now no matter what I do they're not gonna fall off no matter how much uh, you know if I take a turn a little sharp they're not gonna slide off the front who hasn't had that happen where you go through a little bump and all the bales fly off the front or you you know come to a a slight rolling stop and all the bales slide right off the front of it because well physics is you know somewhat broken in the game so you can use the auto load script as a locking script for yourself help you help you out so you don't lose your mind over little things like that happening um, which is typically how, the way I like to use it now when you do use the locking script just note that um, you don't really have bales on the front of your tractor anymore if we go out exterior view if I take these and lower them down with the locking script enable and I push down oh they go through the ground um, that's because they're just not actually there so before you get ready to stack make sure that you don't go too far into the ground because if you do and you let them go you can have a little bale explosion there uh, to get the the bales off though you hit V and it drops them off and then you can just back right away from them when when you do hit V uh, the tines on this thing just the bales come back but the tines go away so there's no collision on them so they roll right up through there and aren't actually a part of the system anymore so you have to back away and then it'll reset itself to where now the auto load actually is working again so if I come back over here and I pull up to it it should start auto loading all those bales back on uh, to the system and then I can do the same thing I can pull them back up I can take V and take it away so what I like to do is drop them like so then get V to turn it off and says collision is done that means now these are just a regular set of bell forks again and I can come back in I can pick the whole stack back up they're nice and straight and I can pull it in here push it into the position I want it now this particular barn has a little force field here in the back it doesn't actually go all the way back uh, but I can set those right there they're nicely in place and that is done so yeah so we're gonna raise that up tilt it down so you know any moron that walks in front of me won't get speared I mean seriously I know they have, I know accidents happen, but I've never speared anybody with a set of bell tines in my life. Most people don't walk in front of a tractor with the bell tines lowered down. Oh, accidents, like I said, accidents do happen. Now, if you are one of those people and you like a loading script, uh, and you like, you know, to have life easy, you can turn this one on. All right, so I hit collision. Come here. Hey, come on. Make sure I got it turned on. V turns it on. There we go. You'll, you know, see the little meter come up at the bottom, let you know how many you have. And then all you have to do is really just drive through the field. Boom. Boom. Boom again. And you got your three. And you can haul them back in. So. It makes life a little bit simpler for you if you're not into doing the manual stacking so uh, that's what I really like about this pack too is it's versatile it gives everybody the ability to do it the way they want to do it if uh, if you're not into doing bell stacking and somebody else is especially like if, if you're playing multiplayer or again there are those days when you just don't feel like it right 
I mean, I have them. There are days when I get in here and I want to play, and I've got bales to get out of a field, and I'm not in the mood uh, to put them up in there. Now, again, here's that whole collision thing. If you're stacking these bales in and you're going to get them up on here, watch how you put them down. If you put them down like that, you're going to have a, just a catastrophe happen. Uh, so you want to get them up, and basically what you want to do is you want to get where you're just over the stack and then come down just a hair bit like so and then hit your Z key and they'll fall right off and if you you know push forward by accident you can knock them all over play like me that's not really how I like to do things so with those little demonstrations done we'll uh I'll show you sort of the hybrid method of what I like to do and that is load them stack everything manually and then lock them drive to the load where I'm gonna unload them then unload on the ground and then come back finally and um, do your last little bit with them all right so Get this thing adjusted. I hate the uh, adjustment bar on this. It just doesn't work. Oops, I forgot to turn that off. Ding! Let's get that off. Unload. Yep. And turn the collision off. There we go. All right. So we get that up. Now I'll run into it with the front of the tractor to square it up a little bit. Now we'll come in here and just watch our shadows until we see that we clear the back. Yeah, just that should be it right there. I think I'm a little long on it, but that's okay. Back down. Pull forward. Yep. Yeah, grab that stack. Rotate back. And we'll go get one more bale. Kind of square up to that a little bit. And I usually just bump into it with the front of the tractor that squares up the bale pretty good for me. And uh, it doesn't look square though. Now it looks a little better. Then I can come down to it. Watch for my shadows. Then get my edge, which I'm a little over and I'm a little off. I'm not completely square on it. I'm, I'm not even close to being square on it. There we go. Close enough. Close enough for what I'm going to do. I feel somewhat okay about it. Uh, because again, I'm going to be grabbing it like so. Twisting it, picking it up. And then, now that I have it, so it doesn't fly all over the place and fall off, I'm going to go ahead and turn that locking script on again. That snaps them all together. Then I can roll back to where I'm going to be depositing these. And then just before I go in to stack them, I'll set them all on the ground, turn off the loading script, and then, um, then I can do the rest of the stacking manually. The reason I don't like doing three at a time though is I can't see. You raise everything way up like so in order to be able just to see whether you're lined up with the previous stack. It's kind of annoying. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and set those right over the edge here, drop them. 
back up. I'll hit V. Once it says change collision is done, I'll go ahead and roll lower back in. Approach. Pick these babies up. And we'll drop them in here, get them into the spot. There we go. Lower down. Back out. Done. So that way you can do it both ways. You can have your manual stacking as well as have the the peace of mind of knowing that as you drive they're not going to fly off the front of the forks I need a bail bumper. That's the next thing I need to get. So that when you hit the bales with the front of the tractor, it squares them up a little bit for you. A bail bumper would be nice. Why did that not hook? Here we go. Oh, this is getting frustrating here. Get your popcorn ready. I'm about to lose it. Now that is rotated all the way back. It should not fall off. Got another bale there and then all kinds of bales back behind me. I have two different ways I go about this sometimes. Um, just a wee bit. A lot of times I'll push with the, the front bale or with the bale to square them up. Uh, other times I'll use the wheels of the tractor to square them up. The reason I'm using the wheels with this is the bale tines are a little bit longer than the bale. If we go out here, you can see they stick through. And with that being the case, when I try to square up, they don't actually square up because they're hanging up on the on the tines and it won't actually square up. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm bumping them now with the tractor instead of what I was trying to do earlier. I realized what I was doing wrong. So, Square up to that. Do a little bump here with the front. That's good. Pull back. I'm sure everybody else has their own way of doing this. I think a lot of people just use the loading scripts. Yeah, I'm a little low on that. I got it off out of alignment. There we go. Be able to back on out of that. Good. There we go. And again, we'll just strike that V key. Snap them all into a lock. And I can go ahead and head out of here. This is definitely not something you would want to do with a whole lot of people around, is it? 
Because I can't, I, you know, I'm judging where I'm driving by looking out the sides of the bale and just kind of looking ahead and pointing in the, uh, in the general direction. I could easily run somebody over if they weren't paying attention. But that's the thing about working on a farm. You have to, uh, you have to be aware of your surroundings at all time, whether you're the guy driving the tractor or you're somebody who's working on the farm. You, you gotta have your head and your wits about you. Uh, otherwise you're going to get squished like a grape. Yeah, it's just a fact of matter. All right. Collisions are off. We'll drive back up here. Bump. Rotate, pick it up. That nice and high. So that we clear that stack. And as we do, we can just kind of pull up. And again, this is where I'm at just manually doing this. And it gives you that little bit more of a challenge. So that you don't bring the whole stack down on yourself. And like I said, each is own. You do it however you want to do it. But it's a, like I said, that's what I like about this implement is you can, you can do it however you want to do it. Today you may manually load. Tomorrow you. Things just may not, you, you may be off your game one day and uh, pulling a moose. And <laughs> maybe auto stacking or manual stacking isn't in the books for you that day. So you just turn on the script, let it run, and uh, don't worry about it. Uh, which one's we gonna get? I guess I'll get that one next. And then I can turn and come get that one in front of me. Bump that straight. Back on it. too far oh it picked it up oh, damn it. Get on there. It moved a little bit, but that's all right. All right. So we'll hit that one. Back her up. messed it up messed her up again I do that yeah that ain't straight at all that ain't straight at all that the bottom one is just crooked now it's straight, but I'm off, off center of it.
trying to get it where everything is is right, but it just isn't. This one doesn't want to straighten up. I'm way short on that. Well, that's all right. The lock and trip will fix it all. And that's, yeah, you know, get rid of your errors that way. However, though, a little bounce, bounce. It's not too terribly bad. The top one needs to fall into position. Yeah. So we get rid of all that bounce. Hang on a second. Let's get a picture here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, get rid of all that bounce. Zoom in a little bit. We got to get our screenshot here for our for our thumbnail. Do, do, do. That one looks pretty good, actually. Let's get that out of the way. And go ahead and snap a pick. There you go. That'll be our thumbnail for this video. So how many of you guys don't still have Farm Sim 17? I think most everybody has it already. But if you don't, I'm gonna give away another copy of it this week. So here's what we're gonna do. Today is Monday. On Friday, I'm going to give away a copy of Farm Sim. Uh, just because we hit 26,000 subscribers uh, this week, and which is another milestone for me. And I like to celebrate my milestones by giving back to you guys. The monies that I collect, either through Stream Tip or uh, even the, the folks who have gone over to gawkbox.com and checked out that um, sponsored tip section. The monies that I generate off of those things, I use to just buy new video games for folks and uh, pay server fees, things like that, and give back. So uh, I've got a copy of, Amer of, of Farm Sim that I want to give away. So to do that this week, just all you got to do is uh, leave a comment below in the video that just says uh, enter me for Farm Sim giveaway. Uh, put it in like that and that way I know that you're actually one of the people who wants to win a copy of farm sim If you do that, then I'll give away a copy of farm sim at the end of the uh, at the end of the week I'll announce the winner Friday uh, in the video and um, So we'll say the deadline for the for entries is Thursday um, We'll say Thursday morning uh, and that way, because I usually record the video the day before, so we'll say Thursday morning is going to be the uh, the cutoff for the entries. So you got between, uh, you know, Monday and Thursday morning to enter. And then, um, like I say, I'll announce the winner on Friday. That way, uh, if you got a friend or family member who hasn't uh, got farm sim and they want a copy of it, uh, make sure you go ahead and tell them to uh, to enter. Uh, tell them to subscribe to the channel too if they haven't already. Uh, so help me out a little bit. Help me help you help me, right? So, but anyway, you said we'll give away a copy of that. Uh, this is my way of saying thank you so much for your continued support. So yeah, make sure you put that enter me for farm sim giveaway and uh, we'll give away that copy. It is a steam key. Uh, I do need to say this. I feel like I sometimes oh, I catch myself for forgetting, but uh, yeah, I do need to say it is a steam key. So you have to have uh, the game on, or you have to have a PC or a Mac and a steam account you can go create a steam account if you win uh, but this is not for console this is only for pc or mac so keep that in mind uh, when entering i know i won't get you a different version of it 
uh, for those who like to try that game with me. Oh, I want it, but uh, I have a console. Can you just get me a console version of it? No. Homie, don't play that game. So yeah, I only enter if you're on a PC or a Mac. Help me out that way. Let me spread the love a little bit. And, uh, but yeah. And again, thank you to everybody for the support. This uh, channel continues to grow and uh, amazes me every day. You guys are good people. Always enjoy hanging out with you. And um, just kind of have fun with the, the whole thing. I, uh, when I started this little venture out, I never imagined this channel would grow to this size. Um, you know, if I had gotten a thousand subscribers, I would have been impressed. Uh, to have 26,000 is awesome. Uh, and I do hope we continue to, to grow. Uh, because it's, uh, it's fun. I enjoy doing it. No. A little off on that one. These are nasty. I'm just getting them done. Get that up. Go ahead and lock them in. That's the nice thing about the lock. Again, bell stacking in this game. Not really like what you would do in real life. It's, um, with the physics of the game and everything and lack of field of view or, or lack of depth of view, it's really hard to judge where you're at sometimes on this. So if you get it close, you're doing a good job. If you get it spot on, hey, mad props to you. Um, but I get it close. I'll let the, uh, the auto script clean everything up. And then uh, I'll have some nice, neat, tidy stacks. But uh, I don't feel guilty at all for using the script to clean up my nasty, ugly stack. I mean, those of you who watch some of my live streams and the multiplayer stuff, I can stack bales in this game. It's just... Uh, if you got uh, if you got a way to take advantage of a resource, take advantage of it. Take some of the stress out of the game, because um, yeah, I mean, I can I can stack bales like a champ in the game, but there are times when the game doesn't cooperate with you, and um, you just have to to realize sometimes you're fighting a losing battle. And if you can use a resource like this to make life a little bit more easy and enjoyable so you don't, you know, end up throwing a joystick across the room, yelling obscenities and smacking your computer off the desk or something, uh, then, you know, do it. There's no use in getting bent out of shape because the game, because a computer game doesn't behave the way a bale does in real life. So I think if I read the field right, I only got like one more bale sitting over here on the back side here. I'm just going to kind of mosey around here and look and make sure that I got them all. Looks like, looks like we got them all. Except for this guy right here, a lone survivor. Yeah. All right, we'll spear this guy when we've got him and we'll head back up to the, to the farm here. All right. 
So we can close this gate too while we're at it because we're done in here. Well, actually, I could come put some fertilizer. I should put some fertilizer uh, down on that field. We'll come back and spray it. Be awesome if I had cows already. If I had cows already, I'd go get some slurry and put it down on there. Slurry is great for grass fields. Mm. No, that's what a lot of dairy guys do. They put their slurry on their uh, fields, grass fields. All right. So we can go ahead and hit X, put that in the transport mode that pulls those tines up. So as we go into the main farm here, we don't chop anybody up. And since I don't need a bucket or anything anytime soon, I'm just going to leave these on here. Eh, I can set them off. Let's set them off. hit that and fold it down again put it right over here next to our bucket go hit Q and back her into place Here we go. Got out of reverse. Shut that off. Put that down all the way to the ground. Nice. All right. I think that'll probably be it for today. Um, we'll come back and we'll spray that field. Also, we'll probably go uh, take a load of uh, compost over to the BGA in the next episode. Uh, maybe cut some trees. We'll see. We'll figure out something to do. Uh, but anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smack that like button for me. I appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Feel free to share the videos with your friends or wherever you want. And um, do, do, do. if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, if you want to... Um, if you want to win a copy of Farm Sim, make sure that you enter in below. Just leave that comment. Enter me for Farm Sim giveaway. I uh, will, uh, like I said, we'll announce that winner on Friday. And if you haven't already, make sure you drop by my Gawk Box page. If you want to make a tip to the channel, uh, you can do so for free. You just have to watch a little video or uh, download a game app and play that game for a little bit. And uh, I get a little monetary donation from it if you do that. Uh, it's a way you can give back to the channel without having to spend any money out of your pocket. So uh, check it out. Thanks again for watching, everybody. As always, stay safe. Have yourself a great day. God bless you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.